Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Jordeen. In today's video, I'm gonna be trying out some Benefit products. So recent products that just launched. I have two. So we have this, the Foolproof Brow Powder. It looks like this, and I have it in the shade five. So it looks like that. It comes with um, just the brow powder. It's a lighter one up front and the deeper one at the end. And then a little brush, which I'm not sure how I feel about that. <laughs> and then we have the Professional Pearl, is it Pearl? Yep, the Professional Pearl Primer. So it's in this little pink package. It's supposed to be a radiant primer that also minimizes the appearance, of course. So let's get started. I'm gonna start off with my brows as I typically do when I do my makeup. So hopefully this is close enough for you. All right, it does come with a um, mirror and directions on the mirror that says sweep lighter shade from start to brow. Wait, sweep lighter shade from start of brow to arch, sweep deeper shade from arch to tail and of brow. So we're gonna try it their way and then we'll see. Um, but first I'm gonna brush up my brow hairs using my Anastasia number seven brush. That's what it looks like. And that's what the little brush looks like. It's like a sponge applicator. Anyway, <laughs> so I'm gonna go in with the lighter part and just brush it. Okay, let's go on with the darker shade. Okay, the darker shade definitely shows up. I don't like this applicator. Um, no. no, 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 no. If you like your brows to be like really precise, this applicator is not gonna work out for you. So, I mean, it doesn't look bad, it's pretty natural, but I'm gonna go in with my brush, my angled brush. I can get a little bit more precision. So I'm gonna brush it through again. I am gonna go in with the lighter shade and outline the front of my brow. Okay, I'm gonna go in with the darker shade <laughs> to outline the brow. Much better. Okay, so I outlined from my arch going down to the tail, and I'm just gonna go in with the lighter shade just to fill everything in. That's what it looks like. I'm gonna pop a little bit of clear brow gel. Then I'm gonna do the other brow off camera and shape it and everything and I'll come back and let you guys know how I'm feeling. So this is what my brows look like after I cleaned it up with a little bit of concealer. So I did like the end result of the brow, but here's the thing with the foolproof brow powder. It's supposed to be really easy with this applicator that it comes with, but I don't like the applicator that it comes with. And it retails for $24 and it comes with three shades. So, would I really want to pay $24 for just brow powder when they already have browsing, which comes in six shades, a wax, and a thicker powder? I don't know how I feel about that. Um, it also comes with a nice angled brush that works pretty well. The powder did blend really nicely. I ended up really liking the lighter shade, actually, for filling in my brow because my brow is thicker. For the outline, I definitely had to use the darker brow because I have thicker black hair. But... I don't think it's worth it. Like, what was the point of coming out with another brow product? I think they were okay with the 50 million brow products that they already had. But okay, <laughs> I'm gonna finish up the rest of my makeup and then I'm gonna come back and talk about the primer. So let's go on with the primer from Benefit. So this is the Professional Pearl Primer. So it's like in this pink tube. It does retail for the same price as the original Professional. So $31. Let's see how much you get in this actually. 
0.75 fluid ounces. So it's supposed to be a soft radiance face primer that also minimizes the appearance of pores. So from looking at the packaging, I'm guessing that it's a pink glow. So let's see what it looks like. Yeah, it has pink. So that's what it looks like. It is pink. I think that's a lot. I'm not gonna do that much. It was thick. Yeah, it's thick. Okay, let's just start. I'm gonna apply it. I see no glow. I'm gonna zoom you guys in. You just tell me if I'm tripping. I just look ashy. Um, I do have normal to dry skin, as I mentioned in a lot of these wear tests. Um, so I normally like glow to my skin. I love the Smashbox Radiance Primer, if you guys have watched any of my other videos, I normally use that primer. Um, it has more of a champagne-y, like, peachy glow, and this one is supposed to be a pink glow, so my my lash, I'm not done with my eye yet, but, what do y'all think? Um, so the foundation I'm going to be using is the Dior Forever in 060. Um, it's one of my favorite foundations. It's a matte finish and I've worn it with plenty of different primers to know how it works. So this is why I decided to use this foundation. Um, so let's just go in. After blending my foundation in, I can definitely see a slight glow coming through on my skin. So I'm gonna put that all over my face and we'll see how it sets. So this is what it looks like with my foundation on. That's what it looks like. So it did minimize the pores, which is pretty good. And it does have a slight glow. Alright, so I am back with the completed makeup look. So this is how everything is looking right now. Um, I actually really like how smooth my skin looks with this foundation. So normally I have a lot of uh, pores on my nose. And let me zoom you in so you can see exactly what I'm talking about. Um, my nose looks pretty smooth. Pretty nice, right? As for the radiant part of the primer, I don't know how much radiance it's giving me, to be honest. So, um, I did set my face with translucent powder, but I did it in my T-zone. So, from here, my forehead, my nose, of course, under my eyes, and my chin. I always set those areas because they break apart the easiest. Um, and I have highlight on, of course, but the highlight is just concentrated on the high points. And a little bit above my brow. Do you see a glow anywhere else on my skin? There's a little bit right here. Um, I don't know. I don't know how I feel yet. So, basically, I'm going to wear this primer the whole day. I have to go to work. So, I'm going to have um, more than eight hours of wear of this primer. So, I'll come back and I'll let you guys know my final thoughts. But for now, I'm not sure about the radiance. But the smoothing aspects, definitely great. And I'll also let you know how the brow powder wears. Um, I'm liking it right now. It looks pretty natural, pretty good. Um, so, I'll come back and I'll let you guys know how I feel about everything. Alright guys, so it's been about 10 hours and this is what my face looks like. So as you can see, um, oils definitely broke through so it's looking a little bit more glowy. Um, it's still smooth on my nose but it broke apart in the center of my forehead and smile lines. So this foundation doesn't normally get this deep in my smile line so it's definitely the primer and not making it any better. It did get a little bit more radiant. So as for the primer, it it's okay. As I mentioned before, the Smashbox Radiance Primer is one of my favorite primers and that one has more of a champagne gold glow, which I think works better for my skin tone. And this had more of a pink glow, so I'm not really feeling it, you know. I don't have to use it. 
it's okay. I think I have better primers that do better things. So that's gonna be a pass for me. As for the brow powder, the foolproof, I actually really liked how it wore throughout the day. It's really long lasting. I had my hair down and did not move my hair. As for the whole point of it with the applicator, like I mentioned before, I don't think it's worth the price of $24 and I will be using this powder with the angled brush. So, you know, it's either way. If you feel like you will get used out of that sponge applicator, then try it out. Maybe go to a store and see how you like it. But other than that, it's not something that I would recommend, to be honest. And hopefully, Benefit comes out with some more products. That's it for my video today. Um, if you have not, please subscribe to my channel and please like this video. And I'll see you in the next video.